Okay, so today we're gonna be doing some street photography with what is like one of the best lenses for street photography. That is definitely the 50 mil. I'm gonna be using the 1.4 to get some cool shots. We're by the beach, so beach shots. So for these photos, I'm probably gonna be using like an aperture of like F8. That's like the best thing for street photography. And I don't know, just kind of get to throw the GoPro on top to get some cool footage of behind the scenes of what we're actually seeing. Also gonna be breaking down the thought process behind every shot that I took and kind of how I took it and what I was thinking when I took those awesome shots. So we're picking the speed right here. It's been a while since I skated, so if I eat shit, y'all saw it here first. Okay, so we're gonna hop onto a super cool voiceover starting right around now. Hi, Nathan. So as we were going down to the beach, I saw these pretty cool like stair structure things. So I just waited there for like a little bit and then I actually captured both of them kind of coming down to the stairs. So they're both looking at the camera. Like they're like, what the fuck is this guy doing? For the first photo of the day, it was it was pretty good and it was pretty solid. After that, I made it down to the actual beach. Pretty ironic because there's a sign that says like, watch out for sharks. And they're just kind of having fun, enjoying their lives as usual. So it's very ironic. Feels fancy dancy. Second decent photo so of the day. So we were shooting at the beach and it didn't go as planned. Like the beaches are open right now. So there are, is more people out there, but it just wasn't enough. Up. So we came again to the safe spot, which is LA. So hopefully we'll get better photos. There are more people around here and it's still very easy to keep social distancing. So with the 50 mil, I think it should be a perfect little combo of getting people walking around. We do have our masks, so we're pretty clean. I know this is the second time I've done, I've came to LA as a rescue. Maybe that's a crutch, but honestly, like it's kind of perfect for street photography. So yeah, we're, we're gonna do uh, on the 50 mil and yeah, we're gonna go ahead and do are that. Are you from Los Angeles? I'm from Los, Los Vibes, dude. Okay, so for this next shot, I really like how the shadows kind of made like these really interesting shapes on the actual building. So I just waited for someone to cross by. Luckily, we did get this person. I really like how that shadow, it's splitting the image in the middle. You know, shadow play. Fun to use in street photography. Shortly after, I really like how these like little, I don't know what these are called, but yeah, for papers and stuff. I kind of waited. I kind of like tried framing this properly and I waited for the person in the back. You can kind of barely see them, but I, could, I wanted to incorporate them in the photo itself. Hey, look, scaffolding in LA. What a cliche, right? So I got this photo. For very subpar, but I just want to show that, you know, not every photo is a good photo when you're doing street photography. And this was definitely really trash. So we kept walking at the end of the scaffolding. There was this homeless guy waiting across and the light was hitting perfectly. And this photo, I dare say, it was one of my favorite photos of the day of my life that I've actually done. I can't describe how good I, or how much I love this photo. I just really do. Photo left me speechless and I really love it. And I hope you guys love it too. Or not, just trash talk it in the comment section. It's all good. So as you guys can see, I was very obsessed with this character. So I kind of just waited around see if i can get more photos of him so i tried doing this photo from the back i don't know it was a good idea in my head it looks cool i mean i guess it adds to the story after that obviously we were trying to make our way towards like the train station so we kind of just hung out around and as soon as we got there i saw some people going down these stairs so i tried framing myself properly change my settings really quick try to do something of it nothing really came from it it's it's a crappy photo it didn't work out i mean it's not the worst photo that i've it's it's in that uh, yeah it's crap it's a bad photo i knew that i really wanted to use this little area do some more photos i saw this one guy coming up the stairs and i took this photo i'm realizing that this good location so i'm gonna stick around and see if i can do more photos there was this one spot that i thought would give us like an amazing photo as you guys can see there's like this little pocket of light at the end of this little tunnel honestly we were there for like probably five to six minutes with the sun behind our backs so i just like changed my settings to rapid fire and i shot a bunch of shots of this and this is the one that we got that i actually really like it's a very dark photo whatever subject is standing in that little pocket of light is really gonna stand out so I was actually pretty happy how this photo ended. Your eye just gets drawn to that subject itself and that was the purpose. So I really like this photo. Shortly after we get to this cool little building, if the sun's reflecting off like a building behind it, so it's giving us like a weird flare that shouldn't be there. So we get this photo right here. I like it. So obviously we walked around for a little bit more and we see this sign guys. And this sign obviously with everything that's going on right now, I really love the sign. It had a, you know, a deeper meaning in, in my eyes. So we got this photo. So after walking around a little bit more, we get to this cool little spot. I tried using this little plant as foreground i didn't like how it looked like my subject was way off to the edge it just decided to shoot it straight on and then we get this photo i like it it's pretty it's pretty i don't know it's cool you know just enjoy it <laughs> so i turn around and i see nathan taking a photo of something and i know what he's taking a photo of because while i was taking the previous photo i was looking at the same thing so i'm like okay i'm a canon boy i'm gonna take this photo and i'm gonna do it better than him because you know canon for life so we get this photo i really like the composition of this photo it feels like a well-balanced shot with like the two people in it on opposite sides okay so on this part i actually forgot to record a us leaving to this other specific spot we we're trying to get like a cityscape off in the distance there's a lot of smog 
vlog so seeing the city was kind of hard so this is the only photo I could kind of get I wish I had would have had a 70 to 200 that way I could have punched in compressed the shot even more and it would have been a better shot so I thought oh, okay you know what it'd be kind of cool to get this shot with a person in it so I had Nathan kind of model for me he had to put on his blue jacket because you know jean jackets are live actually I went to change my lens and I completely forgot to record the last part but I do have the actual photo that I took so this is the actual photo that we got and overall I like it you know we went for a really I don't know it feels like we're about to conquer LA I don't know it's cool I like it Nathan killed this shot he posed properly you know I edited the best that I could and this is what we got so yeah I enjoyed it and yeah that was basically it for that day Thank you.